ladies and gentlemen, there's an old saying, everything is for sale. Is that saying true, Kyle? Well, I don't know. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, everything's always for sale. Kyle's got a whole bunch of Prevo buses sitting here right now. And the supply and demand issue in the RV industry is so far out of whack that even though these buses aren't for sale, I'm trying to keep my ear to the ground on the market here and what people are willing to sell RVs for. Thought I'd come by here and see what's going on. You got here, what are you willing to sell? A huge thanks to Dean Lauk's Fine Art for sponsoring today's video. If you have any kind of repair work, you can bring it in. Doesn't matter if it's Liberty Coach or any other brand, we can repair cracked areas, stone chips. We can paint those at our shop. We do front end clear bra, the stone guard. We do the ceramic coat there. Oh, look at that. So this is the ceramic coating, ladies and gentlemen. It's just gone. It's just you know? gone. I have several different things that if you're going th right through 8090 across top of Indiana, you could stop by and have us do some work for you. Well, we got some entertainers. Pretty much I got this guy right here, when I, which I'm willing to sell, and then the green bus over here, which are both around 2000s, I believe it is, or 2000, that's 2001, and this is maybe a 2000. But it, obviously the whole front ends have all been updated, our entire fleet front ends and tail sections have all been updated and heavily maintained and that's actually why I kind of moved them on this side of the property because we're starting to get them in the shop to get them looked at to make sure everything's going good since they've been sitting for a couple months now and everything's checking out pretty well so we've been putting new batteries in them just to keep them running because these coaches want to run all the time so I like to hear that and I definitely respect these coaches I know you've kept them going down the road as tour buses now I'm on a budget man What's the cheapest Prevo you'd be able to sell me here? Uh, honestly, this one right here, 100 grand takes 100 it. 100 Gs. I like the color. Yep. It's silver. I don't see d lamb. You guys know that's the first thing to check for on any XL2. And I think after that uh, video that I filmed out here, got like 240,000 oh, yeah, views. Yeah. I think there's people tapping on XL2 panels all over the country after oh, that yeah. video. It was, from what I've heard, so. All right, no, no D-Lamb, that's a good. I don't know, I feel like some of these panels gotta have D-Lamb, dude. How many miles does this bus have? Oh, what's going on that's with the this? End door. <laughs> so okay. The, the whole door always does that. Okay, how many miles are on this bus? Uh, this bus, I think, has 1.3 million miles on it, but the engine was replaced at 700, I believe. 1.3 million. So three, Five, probably five, gonna need six, a new engine six, so, six so hundred thousand if the engine re was replaced six or seven hundred thousand miles ago now it's got another six or seven hundred thousand since then yeah how much would it be to put a new series 60 in here oh i think if uh, when the time comes probably 20 25 grand put, uh, puts a new engine. brand new yeah. series 60 or is that a rebuild no that's a rebuild you don't put brand new ones in okay They're yeah. way too, those are probably like 50 grand if you want new off the shelf i don't even know if they make them anymore to be honest okay and uh eddie money's old tour bus here that's a cool cool bus let's can we take a look inside of this uh let's go in the other one this one needs it, to be cleaned it's up. got the 365 yeah. uh no let's see it raw buddy i don't want to see it cleaned up let's see it uh this is unexpected too so here's one thing i do like it's because the uh we put a new we put a new um counter in so the sink's open in it i definitely like the uh the, the pattern on the door here yeah nice wood grain Fucking super stinks yeah because the okay you know. it's filthy in here yeah who's been drinking uh jim beam and <laughs> see look new brand new no wonder it's no wonder it's 100 g's buddy do, do the lights turn on or no because no? i don't have any batteries in it no batteries okay no, go in. it's not not ready to be shown but no. hey i like the shell though 100 g's and you'll get the inside in good work later <laughs> now it does have a salvage title yeah yeah it's salvage title it was in a it was in an engine fire at 600,000 or 700,000 when we put the engine in, but literally there's no sign of anything. And I've been running the coach for, oh, over well over 10 years I've owned it. How many salvage title uh, Prevos do you have here? Just one, that's it. That's it, okay. That's it. Clean title, this green one? Yep. I like the green. Uh, my buddy Stapleton 42, this matches your Escalade, buddy. <laughs> what? 365s? Uh, 365s in that salvage. The salvage title coach is a 365 yep, upgrade yep, as well. Yep. Wow, that's a lot of coach for the money. Um, this is 145. 145? Yep. What's all going on inside of it? Uh, let's go. Hold on, should we tap panels first? <laughs> Hold on. There's no D-Lamb here because this has solid panel. Yeah, I do like that it's a solid panel. Yeah. And I did talk about that in the D-Lamb video, how 
on these XL2s to have the paint up here. You don't have to worry about that. But no, it's 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 good. All right, I just like every XL2. Now I got to tap on the panels. I know you guys want me to tap on the panels too. Oh, little dealy on there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, I like this kind of western yeah. look. The rubber steps, wood flooring. Ah, oh, this is in a little better shape, buddy. A buck oh, yeah, forty-five. This is, this is beautiful. Look what we did up here. We uh, hydro dipped these. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So what was it before? It just black. Nice. Looks good. Yeah. I like the LED lighting in the ceiling. It looks like a marathon coach. You gotta get used to riding around in a tour bus. <laughs> is this a non-slide coach? This is non-slide, but it's got a lot. It feels pretty big in here. Yeah, it really does. For non-slide guys, I'm super chilling in here. 145,000. How many miles does this coach have on it? 1.4 million miles on it. She runs like a champion. She was just getting ready to go out right before and it's been serviced. Brand new generator has probably less than 100 hours on it. And I'll show you those videos down there. It's got a brand new generator, brand new can. Uh, the whole bay's been redone on it. Um, what else? We've done, I spent a when, lot of money when on When was stuff. the when was the motor replaced? Uh, motor was replaced in in the eight or nine hundred thousand mile range, I believe. I like the floor plan here. You got the couch here, another couch over here, Samsung TV over here, Kyle's chilling over there, yeah. kitchen over there, kitchen bathroom right here What's with the shower. shower. That is that is a nice feature for a twelve bunk coach. Yeah. I like the cool little like hammered copper sink there. You guys are getting fancy here, oh, bud. Yeah. And then the thing is, is if somebody didn't want all the bunks, we could leave one section of bunks and we could rip out another section for them to do either couches or make the back lounge much larger. I've done that in a lot of the coaches, like that the studio bus coach, we yeah. chopped, chopped it right here and eliminated this and made a huge whole back area, which is nice. really, really nice. And then we can build a, a, bed, a, a queen mattress bed back here. So it's you know, we could have three separate rooms or we can make it one big master in the back. This is pretty sweet. Now, is there closet space? Where would I put my clothes, right dude? Wardrobe in the back. Yep. Dude, I'm digging it. This is so big. Like, yeah, it's awesome. it just, it's its crazy how big these tour buses are. You don't like, you, you forget that you're inside of a bus. Yeah. Like it literally feels like we're in like a recording studio or something. So yeah. I like the leather, buddy. So 145. Yep, takes it home. And and guys, you got to remember that a lot of these uh, these Prevos are kind of like aircraft. If you look at a lot of the aircraft that a lot of the major airlines are flying, they're old. They got a lot of stuff, but these are so well built that if you just maintain them, switch out all the rubber, switch out all the fluids, it's got that frame, that steel frame where oh, yeah. it's like a brick house where Prevo should be giving you some sort of a sponsorship, buddy, <laughs> because you are an absolute testimony for the Prevo chassis. Yeah. And honestly, hanging out with Kyle is one of the real big reasons that I would want to buy a Prevo and I'd feel comfortable buying it because I know if anything breaks, I know who I'm taking it to. So I yeah, I have no worries of running in a coach that has 1.5 million because I know I've owned this coach over 10 years and I know exactly what's gone into it. I've toured in this coach before, you know, with some of the bands that I used to tour with. So it uh it definitely the mileage is nothing to be scared about as long as it's taken care of. If it's not taken care of, then you know a, a a hundred thousand mile coach could have a lot more problems especially if it's been sitting in water or sitting down in in areas where there's a lot of condensation you know what i mean or humidity rather the, the worst thing you can do with one of these rvs is let them sit yeah. so uh definitely you're you're definitely a testament running these and and it's uh it's about how well you take care of them. and i've got to point out i know people, people get annoyed about how i point out piano hinges but you guys got a nice piano hinge on that <laughs> door here. it just shows that they're going over the top with the build quality. That's one of those yeah. little things that I look for because when they have the piano hinges, solid, they, and they probably spent money on a lot of other little stuff that you don't see. And the thing I like about your tour buses is you got to keep these rolling for the DOT. Kyle's yeah. Kyle's transporting passengers, so when you're transporting passengers on a DOT, you know, with a DOT yeah, we get license, audits. DOT comes in and actually inspects our coaches um, to make sure that they're safe and compliant. And yeah, so it, that's not just like a personal coach. How often do they run dogs through your coach? <laughs> uh, well, usually never, but it's possible. So don't be transporting drugs. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any other buses you want to sell? Sell me, bro. Or and 
One other question I have for you. It's getting hot. Do you have any other coaches? We don't have the ACs running or anything. No, or I don't even have the two? generator on. Uh, just, just these two right now. Just I these like two. to get them up and ready and 100% tour ready before and you know before they're ready to sell. If I am going to sell them, but no, yeah. you twisted my arm again. You twisted my arm the first time. I appreciate that, and we ended. You ended up selling that yeah, coach. Yeah. If you guys saw, I drove that Prevo with eight hundred thousand miles, and Almost I think, took out the front gate. <laughs> gosh, one of the sketchiest moments of my life. Um, until I until I flew that helicopter with Dean Laux last week, that was even more sketchy uh, yeah. than driving your Prevo. Uh, I'm jealous. I, I, I've Dude, never been in a helicopter. You got to come up to Indiana, come hang out at Dean Laux's yeah. facility, see where they paint all these uh, to another level. Dude, you're welcome. That's awesome. They're really nice, uh, really uh, welcoming up there. Um, now, dude, what about getting finance? I probably got to do cash. If you're going to buy one of these 1.4 million mile buses. Yeah, I, th I think financing on coaches these days is very difficult. Even it, it doesn't matter the mileage. I think it's the year too, you know. Uh, I don't think most banks will finance over five years at this point, right? Yeah, no, uh, no, over 10 years, 10 15 years, years yeah. the rates get a lot higher. But yeah, this is kind of a cash game. And I think it's probably wise to do, unless you have a business loan or something. Yeah. But in, in in the early two, 2000s to about 2003, in my personal opinion, are the best built buses. It was all before, you know, DEF and DPF and, and uh, EGRs and stuff like that. So this is just you know, raw to the bones, Detroit Series 60, that's it. So we don't have all that extra um, uh, engine emission stuff that causes a lot of problems to people. So I bring you cash, $100 bills. That's right. 100 and, what did you say? What do you need out of this? 145,000 $100 bills. $145,000 dollars $1 bills. $1.45, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you could go get a new uh, 100X. You could probably go get a new jet for that. That'd be about 10 dollars Sorry, my, my mouth's yeah. off. <laughs> yeah, just slightly. Well, uh, no, I appreciate you showing us this video. If someone's a serious buyer, even though you're not trying to sell these, if someone yeah, is no, a serious I, honestly, buyer. I'm not trying to sell them because I know the market's going to come back for entertainers. But, you know, I know the market is very slow right now for or not slow the it's there's not a lot of inventory out there for people to own buses and uh because everyone's getting rvs because the i think i'd be willing to sell an entertainer because then when the touring season comes back around you know i can decide if i want to buy another bus then or not hey greatly appreciate all of you liking these videos and subscribing to the channel i hope you're all having a great day thanks again thank you guys